In 1917, Edwin L. Wiegand, a self-taught engineer in Pittsburgh, invented the world's first metal-sheathed resistance heating element, an advancement in thermal technology that not only started a company, but launched an entire global industry. For the past 100 years, Chromalox has continued to define and lead the industry as we've expanded to serve an ever-increasing number of global markets, industries, and applications. We've become a brand recognized for delivering innovative solutions that exceed expectations for our customers. Solutions that meet specifications, limit risks, and reduce costs through the minds and efforts of more than 1,100 employees and six technologically advanced manufacturing plants worldwide. But before we can truly appreciate our successes today or look towards our bright future, it's important that we never forget our history. It's a story of how one man invented electric heating technology and founded a company that would dedicate its time and resources to meeting the thermal challenges of industrial and commercial markets for decades to come. What began as a groundbreaking experiment from a makeshift laboratory in a small dining room became a culture of problem solving and innovation that has never stopped. Throughout the 1930s and the hardships of the world's Great Depression, our innovative Chromalox Finstrip heater kept struggling families warm and safe by providing a dry and clean heat that could easily be diffused into smaller spaces. Well, the Finstrip heater is a modification to our basic strip heater. They added fins to increase the surface area to provide comfort heating to families that were struggling during the Great Depression. And that focus on helping to ease suffering and hardship continued through the 1940s as we partnered with the military during World War II to keep our men and women in uniform from freezing during the brutal European winters. Our relationship with the U.S. military forces continues today as they fight in conflicts throughout the world. In the 1960s, our thermal heating products traveled to the moon on board the Apollo 11 space module. Our one small step supported mankind's giant leap into space. You needed to have reliability, you needed safety. You know, any little thing could have gone wrong and any little thing when you're 240,000 miles from Earth is not a good thing to happen. So again, our equipment rose to the occasion, it succeeded and, and everything worked out great. And it was Chromalox, decades later, who would be once again trusted by NASA to be part of the return to flight mission by designing circulation heaters and control systems to purge nitrogen gas at launch and ensure a safe liftoff for Discovery and her crew. Through the 70s, we continued to expand our role as a global leader in thermal heating and controls with the acquisition of facilities in England and France. It was very important for us to develop our business outside of America and in the oil and gas industry. And the idea to buy Eltron, now Chromalox UK, was very good because we have catched some part of the market after this crisis of the oil and gas. As the demand for technologically advanced heating equipment continued to evolve and increase globally in the 1980s and 90s, we led the way by taking advantage of the many robust economic conditions changing throughout the world. We leveraged the growing oil and gas market through our long-standing experience in industrial process heating, as well as the development of new state-of-the-art self-regulating heat trace cables, accessories, and control systems. Now in the 21st century, we are continuing our momentum by strengthening our component heater manufacturing business and distribution network across the U.S., launching advanced thermal heating technology for the solar market in Asia and Europe, as well as circulation and control systems for the growing alternative energy markets throughout the world. You know, in the 2000s, the petrochemical market, oil and gas market in the United States sort of grew and developed in new ways it hadn't done in probably 30, 40 years. And so we would look to our European folks about those applications in those markets to understand how did they sort of attack those and grow them. So we became a much more globalized company in our operations and, and how we support our customers worldwide. And here we are today, a company that began in Pittsburgh, that has grown into a global leader and enjoyed success in North America, Europe, Latin America, Asia, and many other regions around the world. A company that has been to the moon and back, a company whose mission is to pioneer new thermal technologies and shape the future of industrial heating. At Chromalox, we've been given the rare opportunity to touch lives and make history for 100 amazing years. You get a sense of pride working for a company with a long, strong heritage of engineering excellence, quality, solving customers' problems, but living, breathing, and adapting to the shifts in the economy and the marketplace to keep us strong. 
It began as the vision of one man that today is one shared by and furthered by more than 1,100 employees worldwide. This is our story, a great history to look back on and a bright future to look forward to as we continue to excel at finding elegant solutions to the world's most demanding and complex heating challenges.